Namaste Soul Siblings, Conscious Blessings for a Glorious Day. This is Vic and this is BAM Yoga, Breathing, Asana and Meditation Practice. We take a time out of our day to integrate our five bodies and choosing to engage with life consciously instead of automatically. Beautiful, let's get started with our first practice of the day. It is called Life Appreciation. This is a breathing practice, so we breathe using more of our lung capacity than we are used to in our day today. You can breathe through your nose or your mouth. Just make sure you use more of your lung capacity, remembering that the lungs go from the base of the ribs up to the collarbones. Allow yourself to breathe more slow. <clears throat> Legendary Tishini, thank you so much. We are starting our life appreciation practice. <sighs> Inhaling richly, exhaling generously. <sighs> thank you, life, for the whole of life. We are not used to breathing slow. We are not used to giving attention to the breathing process. We are not used to breathe consciously, <clears throat> using the breath as a tool to nurture ourselves and to integrate ourselves. But we change that automatic engagement with the breath in this practice and we give it our full attention and intention So we indeed feel we are nurturing and nourishing ourselves with every inhale we take. And we are making indeed a symbiotic exchange of life with life. As we inhale, we breathe in what the plants have breathed out. And as we breathe out, the plants breathe in what we have breathed out. We are in a symbiotic exchange with life all along our journey and we acknowledge <clears throat> that fact and breathe consciously. <sighs> breathing is essential to life so we give attention to the breathing process capitalizing on all the benefits that the breath can bring to our system and to our life. In this practice of life appreciation, we engage in appreciation of three levels of life. The life that God created, the life that you create for yourself, and the life that you are. So allow yourself to look about you and appreciate the life forms that are present in your environment, that are God created. So much beauty <clears throat> we can pick up when we connect with nature. So much abundance, freedom, <clears throat> magnificence. Allow yourself to see <clears throat> past the evidence. Allow yourself to disengage your mind from recognizing just an object in front of you. But when you interact with nature, you will see that all these forms of life are alive. They are just expressing life in different forms, in different ways, and also teaching us about the flow of life, about what life is about, and about ourselves. So allow yourself to see past the evident and recognize the divine presence in everything that you see. Also in the same way, look about you, <clears throat> acknowledge, appreciate the different things that are in your environment that you have chosen and that are, are man-made 
and that you have chosen to bring into your surroundings to make the life that you create for yourself. Appreciate your freedom to choose. There's a lot of things available in life, God-made and man-made, but you are not bringing all of them to your life. Only the ones that resonate with you, that serve you, that you like to experience, enjoy. That is a beautiful freedom. And it is also a great freedom that whenever you get tired of anything in your life, when you realize that you made an choice that you don't like anymore or that was not aligned with yourself as you thought it would be, you can generate change and liberate yourself from wherever you are at the moment. So for that, nurturing our ability to generate change, we appreciate the life that we are and we breathe, nurturing our neurons, cells, atoms, organs with deep appreciation and love. There have been times in my life, long ago, <clears throat> that I have not wanted to live, that I have resented life, that I have felt bored or questioned myself, why am I doing here? I don't want to be here anymore. But making this soul connection has helped me to realize how mistaken I was in my ways of thinking that would allow me to think that I don't want to be here anymore. It is not because of what life is, or how my life is, but not that the life that I'm living is just happening to me, but that I am choosing to create it. And there are so many things available and I can choose to bring into my life different experiences. I can choose experiences of the light, of the darkness, in between. <clears throat> and if I don't know, how could I create my life? How could I create myself in front of my life? It can be a very frustrating journey. That was what, what uh, helped me to liberate myself from those feelings that I used to have. And now I can tell you, I really enjoy living, being awake, being alive. I have not had a bad day in over 10 years. And that doesn't mean that difficult things don't happen in my life, but I just don't see them as bad or perceive them as bad. They bring me joy and they inspire me to bring forth different aspects of myself that perhaps before I was not expressing and experiencing. So it is beautiful to connect consciously with life and to integrate the soul into our, our, our day to day. This is what this practice is about. And I also have a soul course. So if you are interested in getting to know more about that, send me a message and let's connect. Beautiful. Let's move on to the second section of the practice. It is called focus breathing. Hi, Nick. How are you? <laughs> So here we use the full capacity of our lungs when we inhale and we exhale. So begin exhaling, blowing all the air out and breathe through your nose. Seal your lips, close your eyes and open your heart fearlessly to life. Exhale, blow, 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 blow all the air out of your lungs. And then softly inhale. We begin to produce a subtle sound that comes from the back of the throat. <laughs> the sound itself comes out of the nostrils but is produced at the back of the throat. So for that, <clears throat> you close a membrane that you have at the level of your throat halfway. That membrane is called the epiglottis. So you close it halfway and that allows for the body to generate that sound which we use to keep our mind present and to gauge what is going on internally. So pay attention to that sound and that flow. And because you are creating it, take yourself to create a pace, a flow and a sound from your breath that are soothing, comfortable, expansive, peaceful, joyful for you.
for the duration of this practice and maybe for <coughs> the duration of the day you want to choose to stay present explore what that brings to your life experience be conscious and aware let go of the past and the future and whenever your mind presents yourself with thoughts related to past and future stop then right there and then and then just allow yourself to watch what happens internally observe the mind notice how it works realize its nature and most importantly realize that you are not your mind since you can observe it you are not it so watch it closely without having to label its actions its tendencies get to know more about it and if you realize that you have been its servant use today as an opportunity to revert that and make it be in your service make your mind serve you instead of you serving it your mind is your tool Although for many people, including myself for many years, I used to think that I was my mind, that I was my body. Through direct observation in practices like what we're doing right now, it was easy to recognize. I am not that. Perhaps, <clears throat> and this is a technique that I use to recognize who or what I am, it is easy to discard what we are not then we are left with what we are so we recognize it automatically see within you and realize you are not the fleeting mind the ever-changing emotions or the physicality of your body those are aspects of yourself dimensions of interaction but they are not you Discovering you are not your mind and that you are not your body gives you tremendous freedom. Your life changes in outstanding ways. And there's so much that I can tell you with words. The rest is, has to be your own experience. So hopefully my words can inspire you to take action yourself and find on your own what this soul connection can do for you. Meanwhile, breathe with intention and love using the full capacity of your lungs. Whenever your mind begins to wander, bring it back to your breathing process, stay present. Nurture yourself. Don't use this time to plan a, um, ahead or to engage in remembering, but stay present. Nurture yourself. Integrate yourself with every breath. You're bringing your five bodies closer together and with that, a feeling of wholeness inside. When we don't take time to integrate ourselves consciously, unconsciously usually we scatter and therefore we feel smaller than life. That is an, unconscious, an inefficient and unconscious approach to life. Choose a more efficient and conscious approach by staying present with the flow of your breath during practice and throughout your day. It is practical, it is easy, you can do it anytime, anywhere. Beautiful.
Let's now move on to the third section of the breathing practice. We keep using the same breathing technique and now we add movement, <clears throat> prioritizing the breath and having the body follow in perfect coordination and synchronization. And we move the body in celebration that we are mobile. It is beautiful that we can move our limbs and it is beautiful that we can move ourselves in life. Think about it and give it some appreciation. Palms together in front of the heart, begin to exhale. Once the lungs are empty, open your eyes, inhale, look up, stretch, lengthen the spine, and as you begin to exhale, arms come down, opening to the sides, reaching out, expanding your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Move your body in perfect coordination with your breath and breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. A moment ago, we were only breathing and you were able to breathe using the full lung capacity, but now we add movement and the body and the mind may become entangled. It doesn't know which one to prioritize. So it may take some time to find some, that coordination between breath and movement. Give yourself that time, be patient, be loving to yourself. On the exhale, lean to the side. Stretch, twist, inhale up. Exhale, side. Every exhale, when we're doing these movements, go deeper. Instead of forcing your body, relax it. Relax your muscles. Sometimes they are squeezing on the bones. It's not necessary. Next exhale, lean forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, forward. Inhale. One more time, forward. Inhale up. With the next exhale, bring your left hand to your right knee. Left hand behind you. <clears throat> Inhale, lift the heart, lengthen the spine, look up. And with your exhale, twist back and look over your right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen the spine without coming back. And exhale, go slightly deeper. Twist a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lift the heart. Exhale, twist a little bit more, go deeper. You may feel your spine crack, gently release. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, lift the heart, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist, looking back. Look over the left shoulder. Inhale, lift the heart, lengthen. Exhale, twist more. One more, inhale. Exhale, twist. Awesome. Gently release, come to your knees and hands. Hands are shoulder width, knees are hip width. Inhaling, arch your back, look towards your belly button. Exhale, belly button down, look forward and up. Inhale. Move with your breath, stimulate the spine, make it feel good for you. And breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. Bring the spine to neutral. Next inhale, right arm up, left leg up. Extend forward and back, forward with your arm, back with your leg, exhaling, hand and knee down, inhaling, other side. Sometimes we do balancing postures, standing on one foot. Here we are using one knee, one hand, and the support of the foot also, together with the knee. But still, 
Keeping the balance may be a challenge. Don't fight yourself. Instead, focus on your breath. Your breath helps you keep equanimous in face of your life situations, even to keep your balance and also to stay centered. Beautiful. Both palms in front of you. Exhaling, come to child's pose. Inhale, knees and hands. Exhale, back, child's pose. Inhale, knees and hands. Exhale, child's pose. You're releasing tension from your hips. Inhale, knees and hands. Go forward, extend the legs behind you. Cobra. Exhale, back, child's pose. Move sweetly, breathe richly. Cobra, child's pose. One more time, Cobra. Lift the heart fearlessly. Exhale, child's pose. One more time we go to Cobra and from Cobra. With the exhale. Downward facing dog, hips up in the air, legs extended, arms also extended, bend one knee, then the other, twist in your hips. Downward dog is an inversion where we are bringing the heart above the head. Next inhale, look forward, feet between the hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down. Beautiful. Now we finish the breathing section of our practice and in the last part we were uh, integrating movement. So now we move on to the asana section of the practice and this is full movement together with the breath. Make sure that we are going to be doing more um, postures, but make sure to prioritize the flow of the breath and let your body follow it. Good? So, <clears throat> Sun Salutation A is the first sequence that we do in our asana practice. Feet together, arms down, exhale. With your next inhale, bring the arms up, reach up. Lengthen your body. Exhaling, reach down for your toes or your mat, keeping your legs straight. Inhale, look up. Exhaling, hands down, feet back. Bend the elbows and come to the bottom of the push-up slowly, keeping the elbows close to your ribs. Inhale, up cobra. Exhaling, hips up in the air, legs extended, arms extended. Downward facing dog for five breaths. Keep breathing using the full capacity of your lungs and hold the posture active. That means you're bending one knee and the other, twisting your hips, stretching the muscles on the back of your legs, and also gently you're pressing your heart towards your toes. Next inhale, look forward, feet between the hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight, go deeper than before. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down, Tadasana. Awesome. One more time, Sun Salutation B. Inhale up. Exhale, fall forward, legs straight. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands down, feet back, bottom of the push-up. Elbows close to your ribs. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths, unless you like to take a break, in which case you do your five breaths in child's pose. Keep the posture active, stay present with your breath, breathe using the full capacity of your beautiful, precious, magnificent lungs. Next inhale, look forward, feet between the hands. 
Exhale, head down, leg straight. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down. Sun salutation B. Bend your knees, inhale, bring the arms up. Chair pose. On the exhale, legs straight. Reach for your toes or your mat. Inhale, look up. On the exhale, hands down, feet back, bottom of the push-up. Cobra with your inhale. Downward dog, the exhale. Next inhale, left foot forward, warrior one, arms up. Exhaling, hands down, foot back. Chaturanga. Cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Move with your breath, breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. Inhaling, right foot forward, warrior one. Exhaling, chaturanga. Move with your breath. Cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog for five breaths. Keep the posture active. Optional, you can bring one leg up in the air to stretch the side of the body. Exhaling down, inhaling the other side. Next inhale, look forward, feet between the hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight. Bend the knees, inhale, chair pose, come up. Exhaling, Tadasana. Great. One more time, Sun Salutation B. This Sun Salutation sequence activates your entire body. It's very powerful to keep the entire system healthy. Bend the knees, inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach for toes, legs straight. Inhale, look up. Exhale, Chaturanga, slowly come down. Move with your breath. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Next inhale, left foot forward, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga. We're keeping up a, a faster pace today. So we create some variations in our practice while we stay present. Inhale, right foot forward. Up, warrior. Exhale, Chaturanga. Cobra pose. And with the exhale, downward dog for five breaths. Remember to breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. Anytime you like to rest, you can go to child's pose. And remember the breath does not change whether you hold the posture, transition between postures or rest in child's pose. Next inhale, look forward, feet between hands. Exhale, head down, legs straight. Go as deep as your body allows you to. Chair pose, inhaling. Tadasana, exhaling. Great. We are warming up today. And now we come to our knees and hands for wrist therapy. I love this practice. It's very beneficial for the hands and usually we are not uh, giving our hands much exercise really. So this posture or sequence does the job. Start with your fingers pointing forward and one hand at a time rotating, pointing them back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back. Keep the back, back part. And now bring your way back towards your heels. Use your own body weight to stimulate wrists and forearms it feels good to give them a stretch if 
Turn the palms over, middle fingers point each other. Lean back and then slowly bring the weight forward. Maybe you can come, you can bring your shoulders over wrists. And then when you exhale, make fists. Keep your elbows straight. It feels fantastic. Sit on your heels and shake your wrists around like this, like that. Circle, circular motion to the left, to the right, or to the outside and then to the center. <laughs> Open your hands wide, exhaling, make a fist. Beautiful. <clears throat> Pigeon pose, next. Hands in front of you. Bring one knee forward, maybe your left, and extend the right leg behind you with your toes pointing away from your body and then begin to sway softly, left and right. Before we were doing child's pose, helping release some tension from the hips. This child's pose, this um, pigeon pose, I'm sorry, <laughs> also allow us, allows us to release tension from this area. Do your variations as your body allows. Remember that in this posture, eventually we aim to keep the lower front leg perpendicular to the body. Instead of forcing your body to get into the posture, relax it. Let your body melt. You will realize as you look inside that when we do postures like this, the, we have a tendency to generate resistance. That makes it more difficult for us to go deeper in the pose. Release the uh, resistance, release control, and Remember that your body is 70% water, so it's naturally flexible. Let it come into the posture by itself. As you feel ready, help yourself up. Arms extended, and now stuff the toes on the back foot into the mat. Then lift the hips off the ground, and then release the front knee. Move slowly, it is very easy to generate knee injury and very difficult to heal so stay present opposite knee forward toes on the left foot which is the back foot in this case reaching away from your body sway softly left and right do your variations as it suits you today remember also that maybe yesterday you were more flexible, it was more easy for you to do any given posture. And today you realize it is not coming like that. So it is not that your body changed. It has to do more with your mental and emotional states that you cannot do the posture in the same way as the previous day. So change your way of thinking, your state of mind and see how your body goes into the posture in a very different way. When we engage with our bodies automatically, we will want to force the body into the posture and then injuries happen. And we don't realize how much our inner states are changing from one moment to the next. Not only from one day to another, but just from one moment to the next. The internal system is sensitive, sensible. Pay attention and realize how you work. Slowly and softly, extend your arms, lift the heart, stuff the toes on the back foot into the mat, and then slowly lift your hips off the ground, release the front knee, extend both legs and come to downward facing dog. Beautiful. 
next will be shoulder stand shoulder stand is an inversion so that means we put the body upside down Pantaleon, my brother, thank you so much for joining. <laughs> we are doing our BAM yoga practice, breathing asana and meditation. So now we are going for shoulder stand, we lay on the back. Ladies, if you're in your moon cycle, please replace shoulder stand for this posture, which is called Viparita Karani. This one helps with the menstrual cramps and also with folks with insomnia also for folks with insomnia this posture is very helpful Let's hold it for about 15 breaths now and if you're doing shoulder stand with me legs hips torso off the ground hands to the lower back elbows down gaze towards your toes extend your legs and body up as much as your body allows you to if you are more like this today, it is fine. Don't fight yourself. Take yourself to where you want to be, which is more on the lines of this. Slowly, patiently, lovingly. Develop the ability to remember continuously that you are free to generate change that doesn't matter where you are today you can honor it remembering always where you want to be tomorrow and take yourself on the journey gracefully that is a choice you can make in any aspect of your life exhale slowly lower your feet overhead extend the arms behind you breathe freely optional you can bring your hands to your toes, grab the big toes. As another option, you can also separate your feet, keeping the legs straight. As you observe in your insides, because your neck is involved in this posture, there is a lot of fear, self-doubt, resistance internally. So allow yourself to let go of those energies. You can interact with this posture and with anything in your life, not from fear, but instead from awareness, for instance. If you cannot replace fear for courage, at least invite yourself to bring in awareness and the fear shall dissolve. Fear is an illusion, the illusion of what you are not on the exhale feet together and gently release beautiful next will be fish i am very fond of this posture fish in sanskrit is called matsyasana because it works with the seven chakras at once elbows down feet together pointing away from your head lift the heart walk your elbows towards your feet and let the crown of the head rest on the mat so i was saying i'm very fond of this posture it activates or stimulates your seven chakras but particularly it is a heart opener and as you notice in your life usually we are caving our chest bulging our back in protection or fear and in a sign of having a heavy burden resting on the back which we must carry around but here we revert that we even tilt the head back we abandon and surrender our heart completely to life fearlessly and lovingly this gives this posture tremendous power and this is why I love it. Optional, arms and legs off the ground. Remember the action of lifting the heart removes the weight of the neck. When you feel ready, gently release. Careful with your neck. 
Curl the knees into the heart and sway softly left and right. Roll over the side of your body, come up to seated, and we take a brief moment, a short break, before moving on to Shavasana to give thanks. And we thank all the masters, teachers, sages, gurus that came before us and left the science and the practice of yoga for us to do today. To all of them we say, Parama, Rishipyo, Namaha. Parama, Rishipyo, Namaha. Acharya, Devo, Baba. Acharya, Devo, Baba. Thank you, 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 thank you. Now, Shavasana. Claudia, <laughs> so nice to see you always. Thank you for joining. Shavasana is next. So lay on your back. Separate your feet the width of your mat. Rest your arms beside you with your palms facing up. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale long through your mouth. As you exhale, make a sigh, melt your body on the mat, open the mouth wide, stick the tongue out, and roll the eyeballs in all directions. Inhale. Shimmy your body so that you feel it relaxing and melting on the mat. One more time, inhale. Perfect coordination with the music. You stay awake, aware, present. Even as you keep your eyes closed and even if your body may fall asleep, you remain awake and aware. This is simply being time not doing, not moving, not thinking, not feeling time, but just being time. Be awake, be aware. When you allow yourself to just be awake and aware, very soon and very easily can you discover, oh my God, my problems just fell away. You can do this anytime, anywhere. Put it to the test. Try it and share your findings with me. Just allow yourself to remain awake and aware with an empty mind and all your problems fall away. As you feel ready now, wiggle your fingers and your toes your ankles and your wrists, your elbows and also your knees. Curl the knees into the heart, grab your feet from the outside, from the inside or the big toes. Let's play a little bit in happy baby pose, stretching the arms and the legs. Being playful, stimulating the body, rocking from the side to the other. It feels good to stimulate the body, stay present with yourself. This is not time to worry or plan ahead. As you feel ready now, roll over the one side of your body, help yourself up to seated. 
for next is the last section of our practice meditation so come to see it find a comfortable seated posture keeping your spine straight you can also kneel and you if you sit you can sit on your mat a chair your couch your bed i do not recommend to lay down it's easy to fall asleep and we are seeking to remain awake and aware close the eyes open the heart seal your lips and begin to breathe through your nose using your lungs full capacity perhaps you have seen or had the experience yourself when you cry in that way that you cannot even breathe <laughs> it makes it difficult for you to even hold yourself together and somebody may come behind you pat you on the back and tell you take a deep breath honey breathe deeply you can do this and maybe you take a longer deeper breath but still you're shaking it's not steady then you do it again and it is longer but still not fully steady and then you do it a third time and then perhaps it's longer and now you can breathe more easily such is the power of the breath you may have experienced how it soothes you down it quiets your mind and it also calms the emotions so whenever we are finding ourselves to be scattered negative pessimistic doubting ourselves blocked confused angry ashamed we can use our breath to re we can use our breath <laughs> to recycle our energies the words skip my mind for a moment so we can use the breath to recycle the energies and the easiest way to do that is to choose not to label anything whether it's a thought or feeling sensation emotion image vision dream whether it is positive or negative to your liking or dislike You simply allow yourself to watch and while you're watching breathe using the full capacity of your lungs. In this way you put yourself in the state of being just aware and awake. And because you're fully present and the problems, difficulties, challenges are no longer being held in your mind, they vanish. And with them everything that they make you feel if you so allow it we are not taught how to deal with ourselves and with the energies that circulate internally that cause us to shrink or dim down but here we are sharing about that if you have not yet discovered on your own how to recycle your energies how you function this ha this class can help you definitely and this practice i am sharing with you presently can take you there in experience not only as a reference but your own personal experience breathe with me let's meditate together stay quiet in your mind 
open in your heart and just remain awake and aware. You are not asleep, you still can hear, feel, breathe, that means smell. Everything is active. You are not, you are just not labeling whatever your senses capture. Coexist with everything that is around you and within you. You don't have to push it. You don't have to pull it. You don't have to change it. You don't have to curse it or bless it. Just watch it. Be impartial about what you see. Remain equanimous. Whatever comes, goes. Whatever arises, falls. After darkness comes light. From light, we transition into darkness. That is the flow of life. It presents us with both. And we teach ourselves, having noticed that through our own awareness, we teach ourselves how to remain equanimous, regardless of the change and flow of the situations in our life, regardless of whether we are standing in the darkness or the light, we remain. Self-centered, that means soul-centered, equanimous, peaceful, open, creative, spontaneous. It is spontaneity, the energy that allows you to experience godliness freely, without, without premeditation, without repeating patterns over and over again, particularly patterns that do not work, patterns that hold us fixed in a place where we want to be no more. Bring about sweet change in your life just by being aware. Awareness and discernment are very powerful tools, navigation tools to go through this life journey. Use them. Awareness and discernment. Through your awareness you can discern what's resonating with you without having even to label it. That is the key. So therefore you can gravitate towards what calls you sweetly and orbit away from that which does not resonate with you. And it in, instead you will realize using your own awareness and wakefulness that it, through resonance we are pulled, attracted towards something or repelled from that. So we don't even have to put the effort to go in towards it. We are driven, we are taken. And in the same way things are driven and are taken towards us through resonance. Learn how you work, my brother, my sister, and free yourself in this life. It is awesome to live day after day, moment after moment, when you know what is going on, who you are, what is the game about. Otherwise, suffering 
can take over and make the, this life experience really, really miserable. If you are tired of going on the roller coaster, getting elated, excited at moments, and then feeling so doomed, punished, segregated, cast away, even when you are fully surrounded by other people, making soul connection helps us revert that and fully enjoy living as you. Stay awake, stay aware. Skip the labeling part and just be present. You may have heard that saying that says we have been made human beings, not human thinkings. You are a human being, not a human thinking. Engage with your, with your beingness. For that, watch. When you say this is pretty, this is ugly, I love this, I hate that, that is a thought. The mind has this need to label everything that it sees, creating for itself a lot of misery just by doing that. Be observant in your own experience and realize this, the truth of these words. Don't just believe them. Find your own truths and operate on them. Bring healthy change into your life. Liberate yourself from the illusions of the mind. What a beautiful experience it is to be awake and aware, having not to worry at all about anything. Every single person has a God within. It does not matter what age they are. <clears throat> In the same way, this is a beautiful example. In the same way that pain is the same for a baby than for an adult and a grandpa or grandma true in the same way the presence of the divine is the same for a baby an adolescent or an elder you didn't develop any talent to experience pain in the same way you don't have to develop anything in particular to experience in full consciousness, presence, awareness, your soul. It is just like pain, available to all of us. It is inside. And it is not up to preparation, eligibility, number of sins in spirituality, sins do not exist. So drop all those conditionings from your mind Choose to be just aware and awake and realize the God or God is within you through the presence of your soul. That is the presence of life inside of you. That if you turn away from your mind and you see to that life presence, you realize I am that. I have a mind, but I am the soul. I am the life in my life. And I have been thinking all along, I am just a thought, a concept, an idea. I have been shortchanging myself. And now in full awareness, 
I invite myself to open the eyes, look about and sustain this awareness of who I am as I interact with the rest of life. 